I think the SEC will be able to go after these influencers for violations because on March 15th, some very famous financial YouTube influencers were hit with a billion dollar lawsuit by a plaintiff representing a class action by the name of Edwin Garrison. Now his name might be familiar because he's also the one who sued the celebrity endorsers of FTX, including Tom Brady, Larry David, Steph Curry. This lawsuit was filed in the US District Court, Southern Division of Florida, Miami Division, because this is where FTX was headquartered. And a lot of crypto companies are actually headquartered in Florida, perhaps because it's close to the Bahamas. CoffeeZilla did a great video on this that just came out. The whole reason FTX was so popular. Where he interviewed Legal Eagle and one of the defendants, Meet Kevin. So the defendants include Meet Kevin, Graham Stephan, Ben Armstrong, who is BitBoy Crypto, and a bunch of others. There's also somebody named Erica Kohlberg and an agency called the Creators Agency. Interestingly, CoffeeZilla didn't mention her at all. And I want to talk about her because she's an attorney. She has come to fame with her Erica Taught Me That series where you know she teaches you how to go to an airline if you get bumped off, how to ask for money. Who taught you this? Erica taught me. She's a lawyer and reads the fine print, so I don't have to. I do agree with Legal Eagle, and I think his channel is amazing. He said that this lawsuit is probably going to be hard to prove and meritless against the defendants here. The plaintiff's claim connects the endorsers to FTX. I'm very skeptical of this. What the lawsuit is trying to claim is that somehow these influencers are employees or directors or agents of FTX. And secondly, that they should have known the inner workings of the company, meaning they should have known about all of the breathtaking fraud that was happening and all of the embezzling and moving of money and stealing of money that Sam Bankman Free did. I did do an FTX video. I'll link it below if you want to see it about our obsession with celebrities and why we fall for endorsements by celebrities. That video focused more on Tom Brady and Larry David. So I agree with what Legal Eagle is saying. I don't think they can prove that these influencers were agents of FTX or that they knew what was going on. Now, I do think that when you have a financial influencer who's telling you, I think this company FTX is great and you should buy their tokens. I'm really proud to stand behind today's sponsor, FTX. And this comes from the complaint, which states that FTX could not have risen to such great heights without the massive impact of these influencers who hyped the deceptive FTX platform for undisclosed payments ranging from tens of thousands of dollars to multi-million dollar bribes. I think there is some truth to that, right? Perhaps FTX couldn't have reached as many customers without these influencers promoting FTX on their videos and these influencers did. I mean, if you go to their channels now, they've taken the videos off and all you can really find is their apology videos. Eh, I don't think so. But the point is, you know, when you have a celebrity like Tom Brady or Larry David promoting FTX, you should take that with a grain of salt. But when you have financial influencers who are touting themselves as experts in finance, you will accept that information a little more and trust them. And I understand as an influencer now myself, I do believe as an attorney, I have a duty to perform due diligence in a way that a normal person might not, because it's my job to check advertising laws, check what the SEC says about crypto. I'm going to cover something that no one else has covered in their videos on this story is the fact that this lawsuit might be meritless against the defendants, but they still have to defend it and probably spend tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars defending this. But I think the SEC will be able to go after these influencers for violations because what the SEC did with Kim Kardashian, remember when she was promoting Ethereum Max, she did not state how much they paid them. And because crypto is a security, it's now being defined as that, you have to disclose not only is it an ad, right, with hashtag ad, but you also have to disclose how much you were paid. And these influencers, now all their videos are gone, of their FTX promotions. FTX, FTX, FTX. But I believe they never disclosed how much money they were paid because the complaint states that it was an undisclosed amount in the millions of dollars. Now, the SEC fine, remember they fined Kim Kardashian for $250,000 for not disclosing that Ethereum Max paid her $1.26 million. So the SEC could come after these influencers and fine them for a violation. It won't make all the victims who were harmed by this whole, but at least it will send a strong, loud message to influencers that you cannot promote a securities like crypto, like FTX, without 
without doing your due diligence. The interview with me, Kevin, and where he states, well, how could I have done due diligence? I would refute that and say, why don't you? I mean, you're supposed to be a financial influencer. So perform the due diligence, ask the right question. The person who's responsible is the person making the mistake. I don't know anything about crypto because I'm an attorney in Hollywood, but I would probably ask questions on how everything works. So for them to say, well, it wasn't our job. Now, however, I want to talk about the creator agency, which was founded by Erica Kohlberg. It's an agency mainly supporting financial influencers. And when I just looked at their website now, it's interesting. All of the influencers are off their website. But if you hit their Instagram button, you see all the people who are supported by them. And Graham Stephan is one of them. And they have a duty to perform due diligence as an agency. They tell us they do all the betting for us. You know, this is why we hire people to help us. They should have probably asked the questions to FDA. I'm curious if they did, you know, that's going to be their defense. We did our due diligence and we were lied by Sam Bankman Freed. But why? Well, for many reasons. Or we were misled by him or that he defrauded us. I mean, I'm interested in seeing how this lawsuit goes because I believe it's going to go forward. They're going to go to discovery. They'll probably do depositions unless these influencers settle out or they go to the judge and ask for a motion to dismiss and the judge grants it. It's hard to know. I will keep you guys updated. If you're interested in me doing a deep dive on the complaint, I can do that. It's 73 pages. I read it last night and you know, most of it I think is just a background on FTX and how it failed and how the new CEO is trying to find where all the money went and make its debtors whole again. I don't know that the consumers of FTX will ever be made whole and it's just an awful, awful situation. The bankruptcy of FTX in November of last year just shocked the whole world and the billions of dollars that were stolen and is now missing, it just blows our minds, right? And now this lawsuit, which might go forward, might not go forward. It's a big wake up call for influencers to be even more careful about what they promote on their channel and on their videos. I think that a level of due diligence will become the norm. I certainly will be on the lookout for it. This is Tyler, the Hollywood attorney. If you didn't catch my last video where I talk about Lucasfilms getting sued for wrongful termination of one of his producers, make sure to catch it there. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider subscribing and helping my new channel. It really does inform the YouTube algorithm and it really helps me. Remember, we were born perfect and sometimes we forget. I'll see you guys soon, bye.